Hello, I'm Sophia so Stopek, and I will be presenting on sockeye salmon. Their Latin name is Orinca snerica. On the left hand side here, I have the kingdom, the phylum, the class, the order, the family, and the genus. Some key points I will be talking about are sockeye salmon have tremendous value economically, politically, and culturally. They carry nutrients in fresh water and in between marine environments. They provide food for larger predators, including us humans. They support large commercial and recreational fisheries. They are a cultural icon to many First Nation communities in British Columbia. Several spots in British Columbia have been in great decline since the 1980s. A particular concern is on the Fraser River and the number of returns decreases tremendously every year. What is the Cohen Commission? In 2009, Canada established the Cohen Commission of Inquiry into the decline of sockeye salmon in the Fraser River. The goal was to investigate the, the decline of sockeye salmon stocks and provide recommendations. The re recommendations final report which was the uncertain future of Fraser River sockeye, includes 75 recommendations on a range of issues. Since the report published in October 2012, fisheries and oceans in Canada have acted on all of the recommendations and are committed to continuing this important work moving forward. The assessments concluded that the Pathogens found in Atlantic salmon farms in the Discovery Islands area pose no more than a minimal risk to migrating Fraser River sockeye salmon. The Fisheries and Oceans websites claim the department has met 10, sorry, 100% of the Cohen recommendations. The major threats on the Fraser River sockeye salmon run. Threats to the Fraser River reached their highest level in decades this past year, making it the most critically endangered river in BC and in fact all of Canada in 2020. Major is issues confronting this great river include the impact of Big Bar Rock, slide of fish passage, extensive land clearing within the river's most important fisheries habitat known as the heart of the Fraser, climate change of course, and the need to restore damaged habitats while striving to make others more climate resilient. The Fraser River is known as the heart and soul of our BC, but is critically endangered right now. Fraser River sockeye salmon are one of the largest spawning complexes of the species in North America. Fraser River watershed covers more than 2,300 kilometers and extends more than 1,600 kilometers of its headwaters in the Rocky Mountains in the Strait of Georgia. Sockeye salmon spawn in over 150 natal areas throughout the Fraser River watershed. Conclusions and recommendations for the Commissioner's Report since the release of the Commission of Inquiry into the decline of sockeye salmon in the Fraser River, recommendations, sorry, um, the Department of Fisheries and Oceans in Canada, the DFO, which is the um, Department of Fisheries, has re reviewed each recommendation to ensure that the Department of Fisheries is doing all that it can within its mandate and available resources to address the health and long-term sustainability of the Fraser River sockeye salmon stocks, as well as wild Pacific salmon more broadly. With respect to the recommendations directed to the DFO, many of the recommendations have been incorporated into their work. Many of these recommendations involve long-term commitments of resources and would thus require some further analysis and consultation to determine how to best support them. 
So challenges on the Fraser River sockeye salmon are are facing challenges that the Fraser River sockeye salmon are facing. Um, sockeye sockeye salmon have been suffering due to multitude of factors, including overfishing and climate change, which has caused warmer waters than the salmon are used to, including the Pacific salmon. Commission's latest expected return for 2020. Three of the last five years will have had record-breaking low returns for Fraser River sockeye salmon. So one of the first challenges is sea lice. Migrating salmon pass fish farms and those fish farms are often infested with sea lice, which can latch onto the migrating salmon. Sea lice suction into the fish and damage their fins and scales, inflicting wounds and causing bleeding. Uh, second one is climate change. Climate change has led to warmer rivers and ocean temperatures, as high temperatures in the river cause stress in the fish and salmon can die before reaching the spawning grounds. Changes in precipitation causing periods of drought followed by heavy rain can trigger events like landslides, which damage freshwater habitat. Um, and then another one is government inaction on fisheries practices. Conservationists have advocated for more selective harvesting practices to be introduced, like fish traps and live capture, so fishers can focus on stocks in greater abundance and not catch fish from struggling stocks. They've also called for better monitoring on fisheries to enforce best practices, including the use of surveillance cameras. And the last one I'm gonna to touch on is the big bar landslide, which is a, another challenge. The big bar landslide discovered in June, 2019, but thought to have happened in 2018, blocked virtually all of the natural migration of the Fraser sockeye until late August 2019. According to a study by Fisheries and Oceans Canada, the slide devastated the early Stuart sock sockeye stock, the first run every year, the spawn above the slide in July and August. Fisheries and Oceans Canada reported that 99% of early Stuart didn't make it past the landslide. And that's all I have. Thank you very much.